I mean, you don't really get a call that you, there's an owl that you need to save very often. Rutland Police Officer Amber Hool getting that unusual call and heading first to this parking lot. We couldn't find the owl, so we kind of drove around in the area. Leslie Savoy was at the CVS parking lot, dropping her son off to catch the school bus where the bird was found. The young lady that gets on with him seemed a little upset and was looking down. And so we got out to see if she was okay, and it happened to be that there was an injured owl there. She was kind of nervous, not knowing what to do. As I walked up towards it, yeah. it tried to fly, oh, really? but it only flew just a couple feet yeah. and landed back down. And when it did, it was tumbling. She put a milk crate over it until police officers arrived. It was abnormal. I've never actually seen it. I've seen owls out in the wild, but I've never seen them in the city. The barred owl was taken to the Vermont Institute of Natural Science in Queechee, where they did an exam, diagnosing it with head trauma. Extremely common uh, type of trauma that we see with vehicle strikes. Uh, with owls, especially this time of year. Vin says the owl has no broken bones and its eyes appear to be okay. For now, it will be staying here for the foreseeable future. We could have an owl here for a few weeks mm -hmm. uh, with this type of injury or um, it can take a few months. And back in Rutland for officers Hool and Placus, it was all in a day's work. You never know what you're going to get when you come into work, so that was a good one. In Rutland, Matt Layton, NBC5 News.